Shot, Shot vs. Everybody Podcast, Episode 76, got a special guest in the building, Jay Judo. What's good, everybody? What's up, what's up? What's cracking with you? Everything straight? Everything doing good, man. I'm just sick of this rain. Man, it's been a whole ass summer. God damn, it's been so much rain. Man. Every time you look at the damn weather, rain fucking shit up, man. It's been cold. Like, so you know what that means? Yeah. It's going to be a fucked up winter. Definitely. It's going to be <laughs> slippery and shit. Stay your ass in a house. Man. Niggas going to be having a shovel every five seconds. And I don't stay in no apartment no more. So I actually got shovel that bitch. So that's <laughs> all fucked up. That's why you don't know the motherfucking, the glitz and shit of being in an apartment until you got to do shit on your own. Yeah. Motherfucking plumbing go bad. Then your wife look at you like you a whole ass nigga because <laughs> you don't know how to fix shit. Like, I ain't got a tool in sight. God damn it. <laughs> I ain't got a hammer or nothing. I'm in that bitch with using that motherfucking, uh... A bird knife as a screwdriver, like <laughs> fucking up, man. But no, before we get to uh, everything, we always start off with a salute me while I'm here. So you gotta give somebody flowers while you can still smell them. Cause yeah. a lot of times we wait for niggas to pass away to be like how dope he or she was yeah. instead of giving them their flowers right now. But it can't be easy. It can't be your, your kids. It can't be mom or pops. If you're in a relationship, you gotta be out. You gotta be somebody out there in media circle. So you got somebody um. in mind. I do, you know what I'm saying? I see a female, she from Detroit. She been working hard and shit. Shout out to Tay Dior. Okay. Um, it's t- two actually. You know, they they badass. Shout out to her. She she back home. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And I, I see them young ladies working. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, they they own something. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. They own something. So I'm gonna get them their flowers. They dope as hell. Yeah, I yeah. fuck with them. Oh yeah, and that's dope. That they do they do music too. Yeah, they do music. Yeah. And shit. We, me and Q was just talking about that shit. That shit crazy about how like niggas be too afraid to give people their flowers. If they doing the same shit that they doing. Yeah, it's no it's no reason not to get nobody that shit. At the end of the day, like when you know who you are, when you know who self is, like you don't care about how you you know so, how somebody else moving. You can get yeah. in that shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like they you know you shit. dope shit. That's all that matters. Yeah, you dope. They dope. You know what I'm saying? And we in different lanes. I feel like I'm always different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody's just different. Like yeah. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Now my shit, my uh salute. I think I might salute this person already, dog. Proud this dude, man. I ain't just saying that shit because he in the basement, dog. <laughs> I was going to do that shit before he came on. My dog, <laughs> Verdict, you know what I'm saying? He in the building. Shout out, Verdict, man. I've been telling this dude he should do a podcast forever, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He finally got his mind right, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dog. Damn, this nigga go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This whole time I thought he was on his team. Well, anyway, <laughs> that motherfucker did his podcast, did his show. And I just say that because you said you, you shout out somebody who do music. Yeah. He do podcasts. And like I said, there's enough room for everybody to do any shit. Yeah. And not hate on nobody. As long as you know who you is. Now, if you trying to be another bitch, yeah. can I cuss? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if yeah. you trying to be another bitch or you trying to be another nigga, yeah. of course you going to feel some type of way. For sure. Because you trying to be them. Just yeah. be yourself. Find out what you want to do and how yeah. you want to do it. Fuck sure. how everybody else doing it. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now, if you just still my whole style, then be like, hey, man. Cause I know you like my podcast, but you <laughs> structure everything the same as mine. If it be like that though, if you even get like that, I'm so saucy with the shit. Yeah. I let a bitch have it. And I'm gonna come up with another sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just yeah. you gotta be true to you. Like you gotta know sure. what you want. You go. Everybody got different, multiple things about them. They want to yeah. do it. You might want to do your shit a different way, yep. but you, you, you ain't did it yet. But yeah. it's in your head. Like it's so many different ways we want to do shit. Hell yeah, for try sure. out every way and take your time with it and, and elevate each each outlet. You know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. Now before we get to the music, I never like to rush right into the music. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how a lot of shows and interviews they go right to your shit. I want to know about you. So let me know how it was growing up, mom, pops, who was in the crib. You know what I'm saying? How it was as a young Jay? As a young J, yeah, little J, baby J. That's why I bought my little brother here so he can vouch me, vouch for me. But he oh. don't want to be on camera. And yeah, for sure. All tongue tied. When you smoke weed, that should be cotton me and shit. Like, yeah, so we keep the word on deck for oh people. Oh my god, hold on, let me get my water. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you know, what I'm saying yo, come up how it was in the crib. You know, what I'm saying roaches, good, no roaches. You know, what I'm saying we had all that shit. We had, we had roaches with backpacks on. <laughs> we had roaches. We had motherfucking rats. We had raccoons. All that shit. We stayed on Dolphin and fucking Keeler and uh, um, Bright Mode. Then we had moved to uh, Rockdale and shit. I still remember the address: one five four two two Rockdale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it is crazy. We stayed over there in them conditions and shit. It wasn't that my mom and dad didn't have the money, but shit was so tight back then. It shit happened. Hell you know life. what I'm saying? They just had to pay the bills and shit. It was always work bills, work bills. So I was hustling. When I got um, a little older and shit, like around middle school and shit, I was selling weed and little pills on the side and shit like that. <laughs> and I used to sneak out the house all the time with my homegirl. Yeah. And my pops, he from the hood. So yeah. he like, shit, I hope you ain't fucking none of these niggas. 
out here. He mad. Like, I ain't raising no hoes. I'm like, Hell no. he know I'm out here trying to get this money. <laughs> so they found out when I actually got locked up and shit in yeah. Southfield at Northland Mall. I was fucking with some bitches and shit. And, yeah. you know, long story short, police end up getting involved and they had to... My weed and shit. I had just read up on my way home from school and shit. <laughs> Hold on, you got locked up. You was in middle school. I was. In middle, you I, get I, it was, in. I was. I was uh, in ninth grade at that point. And yeah, shit. still yeah. young as hell. And you know what I'm saying? And they dumped my purse on for everybody in the mall. That shit was embarrassing and shit. <laughs> weed falling out bags and shit. I'm crying in the back and shit because I don't want no felony and shit like that. <laughs> and my my young crazy ass I used to have this big ass knife. Yeah, they used to call it the machete. Yeah. So the police. I tried to drop it in the trash can and shit when they went upstairs and shit and they heard it because they kept the trash can empty. Yeah. I guess to know because they left me in there by myself handcuffed. So I'm like this and I pull it out and dropped it. Said boom. They all ran downstairs and shit. They didn't charge me with the knife and then they charged me with the weed and I was a misdemeanor. That shit been taken care of. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I was in the streets, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Hell growing yeah. up. Like I was still cute and all that shit, but. I little, kept going to new schools. I was getting kicked yeah, out of school. Cute little thug and shit. Yeah. I <laughs> fuck it. It's just because I was following behind my brother and my daddy and shit, yeah. whatever. And I was like, shit, I don't want to be no hoe. Yeah. I ain't want to be no hoe. For like, sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, I was one of them girls. And I, it was just like, shit, like, yeah. I, I went through a lot of shit. Yeah. A little messed up life in this motherfucking dog. <laughs> Weed and shit, man. That's what's up. I mean, <laughs> dog, I remember, uh, <laughs> hey, bro, I don't think I ever told you this shit, but I remember I was in, like, my mom was little as hell. Yeah. She wore my jacket one time, so she must have forgot she had weed in my in my jacket. Oh, so man. I go to school. I'm like, dog, I smell weed all day. Motherfucker, weed all on my motherfucking self and shit, dog. Like, like damn, mom, stop wearing my shit and buying <laughs> dime bags and nickel bags and shit, dog. Got zizz ass in my pocket. <laughs> but no, as, and you say, so in the crib, was it uh, moms and pops? Like, they both, both of my bit? parents and shit, they... You know what I'm saying? The most respectful way. My parents still go together. They married by law. Oh, they've yeah. been together for so long. For sure, yeah. But they still go together. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't putting the papers in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about brothers and sisters? You, I know you say little bro right here. Yeah, little bro and shit. We ain't... He used to like me calling him little bro. So back in the day, I used to tell everybody he was the big brother and shit okay, to get, right. you know, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. get it going and shit. So yeah. you know, what I'm saying it's funny. He got a son, I, and okay. my daughter is actually uh, younger than his son. So now okay. he we get yeah. to start over in life. God gave us another chance. Hell yeah, we for starting sure. over in our kids. Now he yeah. the big brother again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, usually we get our musical influences from our parents. You know, yeah. what I'm saying moms cooking pancakes, vacuuming and shit. Our dad just sitting there chilling, playing music. Who's the people that you was loving and liking just, just off your parents, not you, just off what they were listening to and you was growing to like it just because, Man, you know, they were playing that shit every day? My mama used to cook every morning and shit, and yeah. she used to listen to Tony Braxton, Jennifer Lopez, yeah. Janet Jackson. Goddamn Janet. Man, I love Janet. I used to love her, too. I love her, <laughs> st- I love her still. Like, yeah. I'd probably pass out if I met her ass. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. Like, I used to listen to them and shit. My pops used to listen to Spice One. His yeah. ass used to embarrass us. We was in elementary school. <laughs> All the kids getting picked up in nice little cars. It's quiet. Oh. My pops, he was a young nigga, so he'd pull up in the old school with the Rams banging Spice yeah. One. Yeah. And the principal was like, tell your dad he had to turn that down. Like, we used to be looking ghetto as hell, getting car and shit. I used to yeah. hate that shit, but it was funny and shit. It was funny. Yeah. And I do got a sister. I ain't get a chance to mention my sisters okay. and stuff, too. I do got sisters and shit, too. My sister, um, she... Went to school for nursing and shit like that. Whatever. My older sister, she doing it, doing her thing with three boys and shit like okay, that. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So I do got sisters. They just be living their own life. Yeah. My little sister married before me and shit. I'm <laughs> proud of her. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, but you said pops listening to Spice One. Yeah. So I automatically just think Thug Life. Man. Cause like niggas Spice One was like, I mean I know my uncle always told me he was like a studio gangster, but like niggas who listen to Spice Spice One was always like in the streets heavy. My dad was back then. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, he yeah, was. Goddamn Spice One. Shout out to Spice One. Shout man. out to Spice One. They yeah. got some fucking hits. And then rest in peace, Dex Osama too. Cause yeah. remember he remixed one of the Spice One songs and shit. Yeah. That shit was fire and shit. Yeah. I fuck with that song. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now stay back on that shit. As a youngin, we always got songs or CDs that just take us back to a time. Like damn, I remember. Keisha gave me my first kiss and this song was playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's a song or a CD that you could just, it just take you back to a time when you was younger and shit that every time you hear it, you think about that day or that time. My pops used to listen to this one jazz artist named Michael Franks. Mm-hmm. And he used to had this song called Eggplant. Every time I heard that shit, I smelled incense. I smelled <laughs> breakfast. I, I heard somebody getting a whooping in the morning for leaving their dirty plate in the sink. Man, what? <laughs> Hell yeah. But look, that shit was playing in the background too, though. So I, I used to fuck with that. Man. I, and I, every time I hear a jazz song, period, I think about my yeah. childhood. Bring a little tear to y'all. 
No, no, I, I know that's here. He used to, he used to, he's, yeah. he's bringing lids here, but no. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, no, because we was talking, that's funny, we was talking about this shit last night. We was talking about, like, about crying and shit, like, if a movie or a song or something made you cry. Have you ever had a song that made you cry, like, bring a tear to your eye? Yeah, I did. thug tear? I, I, had, I had a little thug tear moment <laughs> when, um... When Beyonce and them did that movie a long ass time ago called Fighting Temptations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had actually seen that song on stage and shit when I was younger. I was in this junior and senior chorus at school. Okay. And, um, I forgot how that shit go, but that shit always <laughs> made you feel some type of way. Just the soundtrack from Fighting yeah. Temptations, you know what I'm saying? It was like some church stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've ever had something that made me break down. Like, it was a Sam Cooke song. I'll take it back. Sam Cooke had this song, it's been a long time coming and whatever. He was on the Malcolm X soundtrack. I mean, uh, Malcolm X, a uh, movie, when Malcolm X about to, you know what I'm saying, get killed on his last speech. So, every time I think about that movie and my pops, because my pops was real heavy into, like, the nature of Islam and shit yeah. like that. So, whenever that sound could come on, that, you know, chest get a little, a little, <laughs> little warm feeling. You know what I'm saying? I'll be having to leave and take a shower and shit, man. But <laughs> you know, I ain't afraid to say I, I cried before. It's all good. But yeah. Sam Cook, that song definitely bring a tear to my eye. And, you know what I'm saying, get a little emotional and yeah. shit. <laughs> Carl Thomas in this bitch. But, uh... Go back to uh, high school, like, outside of music, when you was in school and shit, like, was it anything you had, like, dreams of being or doing or whatever? Or being was a music artist. Uh, that, but you that's said, it, period. But you, but you outside, said outside, outside of music? Were you in, like, sports? Like, how was, I, you, how was you as far as, like, grades in school, stuff like that? Uh, my grades was good at first, then they got shitty because I started <laughs> not coming to class and shit like yeah. that because I was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I was sure. doing other shit, trying to make money. I was like, fuck school because it felt like... Bitches was always hating. I couldn't concentrate. They was already fucking these. I didn't care about the niggas yeah, at yeah, that point. I didn't sure. care. I wasn't trying to look for a boyfriend, nothing, nothing like that. I was just living yeah. my life. But all my friends was dudes because I was cool and then I was cute. So all yeah. the bitches who was cute that felt like they had to so fuck they, they and all mad. that shit, they was mad. Yeah, yeah, and I was just a cool female. You know what I'm saying? I was laid back mm -hmm. and I related more to the dudes and stuff. Whatever, just because I was around a lot of dudes growing up and my brother, and my uncles and shit like that, heavy. I wasn't around a lot of females all the yeah, time, so sure. I was raised a little rough, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I did have more male friends, and um, I, I was more into, like, the acting and stuff. I did a little acting and shit when I was a kid on stage okay. and, at yeah. school and shit like that, but I was mainly, strictly just, just only music. music, just trying to oh, figure yeah. out how to play every instrument or just mm -hmm. try to play something or just, but I did run track, you yeah. know what I'm saying? In ninth grade, I ran track, and uh, I was a major ed and shit. I went to Redford High School. Shout okay. out to Redford. Redford some Myers yeah. now on Grand yeah, River. Yeah, my wife, my, yeah, my wife went to Redford and shit. I always talk shit about it. Yeah, I'm we a Myers <laughs> now. My hell, <laughs> yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying, kind of like fast forward to your music shit when you started falling in love with music. Give me like the people that you was listening to once you got your own ear for music and you wasn't just listening to what mom and pops was playing. Like, who would you take a liking into once you was, you know what I'm saying, young and growing up? Foxy Brown, yeah. um, Eve, Rod Digger, mm. um, Queen Latifah, Missy Elliott. I like that her char her character. Oh, yeah, and for shit. Sure. I love Hell that yeah. personality yeah. and shit, whatever. Missy a goat. And then as I start getting more into it, Nicki Minaj, but before I heard Nicki Minaj, people used to call me Barbie. I got okay. it on my chest right okay. here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. dude, his, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say his name, but he gave me this name. He used to call me Psycho Barbie because they yeah. said I was crazy, but I knew how to rap and shit. Yeah, and I yeah. like a dog. And, you know, a little silly yeah. shit. So I took it and ran, but I was like, I ain't finna get Psycho tatted on me. They don't think I'm really crazy. <laughs> like, oh, shit, we ain't like, so I'm, like, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna get the Barbie. And then you know, when Nikki came out, she was killing that shit. So yeah. I was like, I don't want to be Barbie no more. Mom, she, she killing that shit. So For I sure. changed it to yeah. Jay Judo and shit and around 2008 or something. Yeah. So uh, I just kept it going since yeah. then. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. So you say, you say, who what about the, uh, on the male, on the male part, who would you listen to and fucking with? Uh, at the male part, Chingy, remember Chingy? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I clown my wife all the time because she used to. They say she used to have a big ass crush on Chingy and shit. He used to be cute back in. Man, goddamn Chingy. Then. I wasn't expecting you to say that. He used to get you <laughs> hype as hell. Soldier Boy used to have you hype. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Um, I was also listening to niggas like uh, uh, Rick Ross and shit, yeah. Meat Mills. Mm -hmm. um, Spice One still. I still yeah. was listening to Spice One. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, Tupac, Biggie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I, I like go. a lot of male rappers. Yeah. I, uh, they all Emmy in the inside oh, yeah, of me. I got sure. them all Emmy. That's funny you know? as hell. She said Chingy is her number one. He, he my number Chingy. one, but. No, it was your number one. He, <laughs> no, Chingy. Okay, because I said his name first, but it popped out because I seen him recently on Instagram. Yeah. But he used to make some catchy ass music. No, for sure. That for sure. Go crazy. That was like a funny ass moment in rap around that time mm -hmm. when Chingy was out and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, because you had a lot of people who was like on some one hit wonder shit. I remember this one rapper that niggas fuck with me all the time about liking, dog. You know who I'm about to say. 
It was his nickname, Baby Boy the Prince. Baby Boy the Prince. Baby Boy the Prince. He was uh, from New Orleans and shit, dog. And he had a song with uh, Manny Fresh, and then he had a song with Boosie. And I thought this nigga was about to be the next big thing and shit. I was going to prom, bumping motherfucking Baby Boy the Prince and this nigga truck and shit, dog. So it was like my whack rapper that I used to like, man. I, well, that's one of them. But I just like that. Like I, I more so look for people, uh, personality. Yeah, for sure. People originality was what always attracted yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was trash to other people or not, it was just like I liked it either the beat or how they mm. sound when they say say certain stuff or just yeah. their demeanor, their confidence and shit like yeah. that. I always paid attention to shit like and that. And we said like original. That's why I, we was just talking about my man's yesterday, Luda. Yeah. Luda Chris was like. Oh, one yeah, of a kind man, Like you know Chris. what I'm saying oh, I forget Luda Like Luda was dope as hell to me Like them first couple oh, albums yeah. You know what I'm saying Back for the first time Chicken and Bear You know what I'm saying All that shit Luda I don't think he get the respect Now that You know what I'm saying Whatever but Luda was cold as hell Luda like, was cold as hell I ain't gonna lie He was cold as hell I don't know how I forgot about him I'm high Yeah it's all good Shit <laughs> Nelly had never fucking first Nelly album Country Grammar and shit Like that was some, that was some dope shit though <laughs> But on you Back to you though now when did you decide, like, you know what I'm saying? You said music was always in you, but when did you decide, like, you know what I'm saying? I really want to do this rap shit, this music shit for real. Shit. Um, I probably was about, what, 13? My uncles and shit, they all made beats. My grandma, she played she played every instrument you can think about. Rest in peace, grandma. Mm-hmm. Um, and they always had a studio at her house all the time. We was yeah. kids. So while everybody else was outside riding bikes and doing shit, we was at the studio at grandma crib. Yeah, like, sure. it was fun yeah. to go over there. So... Actually, like, you know, when I met, met Hilliver in 2008 or whatever, he inspired me to keep going, you okay. know what I'm saying? Because when I met him, he was like, what you doing? What, what you over there writing? I'm like, I'm writing a rap. He was like, you can't rap. Yeah. So I started rapping it, and he liked it. So yeah. we actually did a song together in 08 and shit, whatever. It was called uh, What It Is. It's on YouTube. It's an old ass song. Yeah, we're going to make and sure. We, matter of <laughs> fact, you're going to put that in once you <laughs> <laughs> Don't play my Don't play that. <laughs> don't play that. But no, it's, it, it was dope for that time, you know what I'm saying? But I was always ahead of my time, so I had kept a lot of music closed mm-hmm. until it was my time right yeah. now i feel like it's just time and i'm just really bogart and shit and no yeah. disrespect to nobody but i've been doing this shit for a long time mm-hmm. and i'm just moving through this bitch and that's yeah. just how it's gonna be hell yeah for sure for sure hell yeah man everybody first song be trash but it's okay though yeah hell it yeah. might not be trash it might be trash to you yeah. it might be dope with somebody else you know what i'm saying because you always gonna feel like your earlier shit ain't as good because you ain't grown as a person yeah as an artist quality sound better yeah, yeah for sure but somebody might like you might have to re- re-release it and shit <laughs> certain, certain songs I did take down so I can do a re-release and shit, whatever. I ain't yeah, out yeah. right now, but I do got a lot of shit oh. under my belt right now. Now, who was the first person you told? Like, was, was it, did everybody know? Was, like, a certain person you told, like, you know what, I'm about to fuck with this rap shit. Like, I'm doing this shit. Like, who was the first person you told that to? Or is everybody had kind of knew because grandma had the, the studio at the crib? Uh, shit, pretty much both. I mm-hmm. told my parents and shit, whatever it, but it was hard for them to like really take me serious because I still was mm-hmm. getting in trouble and stuff at that time, getting yeah. locked up, so I couldn't really focus mm-hmm. on what I really wanted to do. And I ended up getting kicked out of all Detroit public schools and shit. I had to go to a meeting with the Board of Education and get back in school. Yeah. Like it was just like back then it was crazy. People don't believe this shit. It was crazy and it was hard, you know, being mm-hmm. a female and being. I already had ass and titties at a young age, and bitches was already mad and shit. And I'm not knowing the little boy is looking at me because of that shit. I'm looking, I'm like, shit, he cool as hell. We finna go ride our bike. Like, he finna get on my pegs. We got the mongoose. Like, I'm like, what? I'm like that. These yeah, little bitches, yeah. they, they ready to, you know what I'm saying, get it in. So it's just like, <laughs> it was just different oh, for shit. me. Like, That's funny as hell. Now, there's a couple of things you said that kind of stuck out to me. First, you said you was kicked out of all Detroit public schools and shit. Mm-hmm. Then you said you didn't want to get psycho tatted on you because, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't nothing to be fucked with then, right? <laughs> no, it was because I had it was because I had to protect myself. Like yeah. growing up in high school and shit, like you know, you get into it with a bitch and shit, they want to jump you when you kill. Yeah. Yeah. They want to jump you. Ain't nobody want to bang with me one on one. Yeah. And then when I did get them chances to be the bitch one on one, it was just like I kept getting in trouble because I I would catch these bitches by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, no, I ain't going out in no hole. I got beat up by a whole bunch of bitches. I'm bitch, yeah. I'm whooping your ass now. Sure. Yeah. And I, I was on all that shit. I was on it. And then that actually helped me with my respect too. Okay. So I got a lot of friends. Some girls. We fought, we we cool, we ain't buddy buddy, but yeah, we yeah, respect yeah. each other. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Hell she like yeah. she came back and handled her business because that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah. I feel like I had to be like that growing up because if you wasn't like that, you was just gonna be what lumped up all the time. Like <laughs> hell no, this ain't this yeah. ain't that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta bang around here, like you gotta. And we kept moving and shit. We from Bright Mode, then we ended up moving to Seven Mile. Yeah. You know, and then Blade he passed away on our street. Right down the street from us, we was having a block club player, a block club party. So rest in peace, Blade. Oh yeah, for sure. We was outside, you know what I'm saying? When everything went down, we didn't see everything, but yeah, we, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just like, 
I've seen, been around so much stuff. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when you're going through all that shit that you're talking about, like, that just make for a better person once you get older. Because you have been through some shit. You season, you know what I'm saying? So you know what to expect once life hits your ass hard, once you become an adult. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I be telling this nigga all the time, he know we've been through a whole bunch of shit. And then that just help you once you get, you know what I'm saying, older. If you seen mom and pop struggling, or you just know how to renew, maneuver and shit through shit because... Shit, it's like a part two to it, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta learn. It ain't easy. It ain't gonna come fast. It took a long time, but you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, for sure. You gonna get it. Now, I, because a lot of people that came on this show, and it's always funny, like, your writing process, like, when you first started to, like, now, like, a lot of niggas didn't know what bars was. Niggas just writing. Like, how was it when you first started writing to compare it to now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Was it was it tough? Was it easy? Is it hard to make a hook? Do you gotta hear the beat first? Like, what's your writing process? When I first started writing, I had to hear the beat first, and then it took me a long time to write. And then I started writing a lot of 16s. Then when I started getting more into music, I'm like, I could do a hook, a bridge. Then I could do an eight, then swing it back, hook, bridge. Because I was like, I'm about to format it how I want it because it's still a song. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So I started being more creative with how I do stuff. And I, I just pretty much be freestyling my songs because I'm mm. trying to tap into that so I can just keep going on the yeah, freestyling yeah. and shit. So it's just like... I write, you know, if something really feel like it hit me and I, I got to write it out, I yeah. write it in my phone, whatever. For sure. And I might use it, I might not, or I use it and then freestyle with it. Like, my yeah. sessions be easier now. Cause mm -hmm. I hear a beat, I like it, I'm going there and freestyle if I got something off the head. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if I go in there and I don't really know for sure, I'm about to, like, I'm about to use one of these ones that I wrote and then add a freestyle to yeah. it. So, it, it, just be, it just depends. Okay, okay. Now, now you said, you, you just got finished talking about, you know what I'm saying, studio and shit. Give me your, uh, your first time in the studio, how good or bad that was. Cause a lot of times you be in the room and that shit sound good. My first time being in the studio was shitty because <laughs> it wasn't even at my grandma crib, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like we was in the basement and then he didn't have the right equipment, so yeah. I used to want to hear myself yeah. in the headphones because that's how my uncle used to record me. Oh yeah, for sure. If I can't hear myself, yeah, it's just know. like I don't know <laughs> how I sound. And then it just wasn't good, you know what I'm saying? So I just kept going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a weird experience. Like it was just like yeah, was, was, I don't know why dog was charging what he was charging, but I still <laughs> gave him his powers. <laughs> <laughs> dog, how much was he charging for the crib studio? He's in the crib. He was at the crib with. Yeah. It. He told me he wants sixty an hour. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I still gave him his flowers, but I, he, I'm, I'm like thinking he finna send me another mix. It just was the same. I'm like, <laughs> dog said this on the computer. He said, "Go ahead, yeah, record, go." <laughs> God damn, hey, that's funny. Cause our first time in the studio was on some same shit. Me and my nigga Red, shout out my nigga Red. Mm -hmm. And we just knew once we left the studio, this shit was going to the radio. So we went to the radio station. That nigga laughed at us like a motherfucker. Like, man, if you don't get that shit out of here, <laughs> I'm glad he didn't listen to it too, dog. Cause that shit, like you said, he just press play. We got me press record and that was it. Raw. No mix, no nothing. You hear the motherfucking kids in the background, like. And my thing is, people <laughs> who do that, they messing up their own pros because all you gotta do is say, look, I record raw for thirty five, another thirty five, I'ma yeah, do a hard shit. mix, yeah. another thirty five, I'ma do this or a fifty, I'ma do this. Like, yeah. have your stuff lined up. If you feel like all that take your time, and you wanna get paid for your time, yeah. map it out then, like how you want it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. As long as it get done right. Yeah. Now, yeah. how 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 important is it? Uh, like to find that right engineer because of course you just you go in different studios uh, with different people like do you got like a one person you go to right now or you got multiple people how is that I'm, I'm in the mix between about three studios but it's one of them that I go to the most mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying shout out to Libra House Studios okay like they provide my beats my sound quality everything and we pretty much do all our freestyles there. Yeah, yeah. like we all vibe right and I've been working with them for the last two years two or three years or whatever so it's, it's, it's a cool ass vibe You know what I'm saying It's other artists is on the on the label with them And stuff I'm mm. not signed with them Or nothing But I We conduct a lot of business together yeah, So sure. it's just like yeah. I fuck with Libra House And uh, you know Mix Factory Oh yeah right yeah. there on, on, Ivy on, Yeah On Insta yep, and shit That's Build like it for us <laughs> She I'll, be on her shit I ain't gonna lie She be moving around She remind me of an older me Okay You know what I'm saying yeah. Cause the way she be moving And shit I respect her and shit for You sure. know what I'm saying yeah, For sure Now what's some shit What's some must have Like in the studio, what do you gotta have in that mug? If you don't have it, I ain't fucking around recording, I ain't doing nothing. Like, 
What's some shit that you gotta have in your session? You got privacy. Have. I don't want to come in my fucking session. There's a whole bunch of people sitting in my fucking session. I yeah. get I get anxiety. I don't like being <laughs> around all these motherfuckers in my session. I want to be with me and the engineer. Bro, yeah. I don't need no, I don't need your bitch there and she looking at me and all that shit. Now I feel uncomfortable because I look cute. And I know she looking at my ass and then she making you look at my ass. Now she about I'm about to get you when you get home. Like shit, I don't want none of that energy. You know what I'm saying? I just be want to record in peace. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if somebody else gotta be there, if they ain't got nothing to do with this song, they ain't got to be there. Yeah. That's what I don't like. Hey, y'all better stop messing with her, man. <laughs> y'all chicks y'all ch- <laughs> better leave her, leave her be. She been fighting since they yeah, young. Say you say it's somebody saying a little, a little booty and wanted to fight you at, 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 at 10. Like, I, mean, I, ain't I, got haven't, that. <laughs> I haven't gotten a fight since like 2012. That was my last time fighting for yeah. real. See, I'm mad. I'm actually mad that my son haven't got to a fight yet. I mean, you can't be mad. Just take you, take him somewhere to fight. Take him to the boxing you, ring. You don't know how you're going to react at 19. You get punched in the jaw for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes that might be your wake-up call. It might be God like, wake up. Like, you know, you have to do it. Like, it, it might be like that. I only but. got to one fight in my life with Lionel Sanders. And never forget that fight. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you're watching this, man, hey, what up, though? We got to a fight call. I kept calling him Colonel Sanders. Mm. You know, low kid shit. So he's like, yo, grandma. I'm like, nigga, say my grandma again. He said it again. Like, damn, he said that bitch again. <laughs> and we were scrapping. I won. All the girls was loving this shit because I was real little and shit. Real small, mm-hmm. real short. But yeah, like, a lot of times I'd be disappointed myself because I didn't think I got to enough. I hope I don't get to a fight now. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't no, know. no, don't put that energy yeah. on yourself. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not going to You ain't got no reason to. Yeah, because you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know how my hands work now. Yeah, like, you, ain't no, you ain't got no <laughs> reason to, though. I'm going to talk. Hey, man, you really want to do this, though? Be grown. Nigga, nigga turn to a Muslim on It's like, brother. <laughs> you really want to do this good brother <laughs> like <for real. laughs> oh shit but no back on, on your shit so you say you know saying studio you like to have a little privacy or whatever yeah uh as an artist don't take this as no disrespect but have you um ever had anybody write for you and because i had somebody on the show uh last time and she said that she was just she was good with writers mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying as long as it's a a partnership or whatever as long as they ain't writing the whole thing or if it is a hit just don't be trying to take credit at the words and yeah. talking shit like how you feel about that like having like writers or maybe y'all can do it together like I had one artist in Virginia named uh Shug Monroe I'm gonna give her her flowers mm-hmm. she wrote a track for me by a story I told her so okay. she kind of wrote it out you know what I'm saying in her in her perspective but you know we, we working on it together type shit because I'm taking out words putting in words sure. but it's, it's still the same concept we did a project together and I paid her for it and everything or whatever mm-hmm. just because she do a lot of theatrical stuff and yeah. she in movies and stuff and she that's what she do I wanted to test it out just to see like you know what I'm saying what can come out of it it was for actually sure. a good project you know what I'm saying that was a couple years back it was called Rain Okay. so I told her everything I was going through and shit whatever and she yeah. kind of like came up with some type of storyline for it and I can actually use it for like a stage play or something like yeah, that you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. it, it's like some theatrical type rap type shit it's dope you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying Okay. and I ain't got a problem with saying that but all yeah. my shit right, you know, I, be yeah. doing, I be freestyling everything <laughs> I be in the booth for like crazy so it just yeah. be like you know what I'm saying so I ain't. have you ever um, thought about maybe being a writer for somebody or like Oh, you just like man, yeah, I'm a, I, can, it's I, me. I can write for people, but ain't nobody yeah. never asked me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, yeah. ain't my phone supposed to just walk up to you like, let me write for you, like, I'm gonna keep Jay Judo popping. I'm gonna keep yeah. doing, I'm gonna keep doing what Jay Judo doing. For sure, for sure. Now, uh, you was just talking about like you being in the studio by yourself and just like that. So who, as far as like your music, who can you go to for that? You know, what I'm saying that feedback, that positive feedback, not just no hating shit. Like, who can you go to? Like, hey, listen to this. Well, tell me what you think. Like, and you trust their opinion. Shit, anybody in my circle I'm yeah. going to they gonna I don't trust their opinion. I don't ever just ask a random motherfucker anyway. So yeah. if a random person hear it, I'm gonna get that feedback either through social media or mm-hmm. a comment or, you know, a DM mm-hmm. or whatever, email, whatever, however they doing it, whatever. Yeah. But for the most part I try to be around a lot of people that tell me what's up, you know what I'm saying? But I be in my own zone. I'm pretty much telling my story, you know what yeah, I'm saying? But sure. I know how to put it in the way where you're going to still have fun and yeah. feel the music. You got to still have fun when you record. A lot of niggas just going that bitch too serious all the time. That shit be just sounding serious all the time. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't going to lie. I got a song where I just sound that serious because I was mad. Yeah. It's the passion behind it, too, and how you feeling that day, too. For sure. Especially depending on what the song is and shit, you know what I'm saying? So you yeah. can tell, like, the songs I'm more upbeat on than the songs that you, like, she probably wrote that because that's the story. She yeah. was going through some shit on yeah. that. Or that was, like, you know what, what I'm saying? What, like. What, so you said, hey, what, what, um, you think your best, 
A lot of, like a lot of people joke with uh, Mary J. They say she write her best music when she going through a breakup or a nigga and did her dirty in comparison to being happy. So you think your your best your good music come from when you in the happy space, mad space, or just depending on you know what I'm saying what's going on like. Cause a lot of niggas like, oh shit, I just broke away with Keisha, goddamn, I got My music comes from pain. If I'm going through shit, my best music comes from the pain. Yeah, real. hell yeah, for yeah. sure. Now, you a mother, you got a young daughter. I do. You know what I'm saying? So how is it being a mother? And like, what's some shit that may have changed within yourself for the better? You know what I'm saying? Once you had your little girl. At first, when I first had her, I still was in shock. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I still was growing out of certain ways. You know what I'm saying? But now, right now, I just want to show her how to be independent more than anything. She know about money, know about jobs. I want to teach her how to be smarter than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want her to elevate on a different type of level. Sure. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? To. And I want her to do all this shit that I did growing up and more as yeah. far as, like, you know, activities and shit. You yeah, know? yeah. Self-defense classes, music classes. She love music. You know what I'm saying? Just anything she want to do, I'm supporting her. I just want her to have that independence and know that she can depend on herself instead of another nigga. For sure. Because I'm not, I'm not having that. Yeah, hell like, yeah. I'm going to be that mama. Like. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. Because I heard um, um, uh, you was doing the live or whatever, and you was just talking about, like, teaching your kids self-value. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, what, what, so that's what you saying. Like, you teaching about working for yourself. Yeah. Not depending on nobody yeah. All that good shit And believing in yourself And being confident in yourself And not never putting nobody before you mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying You come first all, all the time But I want her to understand that And I want her to understand that You know what I'm saying She gotta be by herself sometimes oh, And yeah. how to move Yeah she, she the only kid and shit Whatever yeah. I ain't having no more kids Oh she so retired right huh now. Oh, you said just for right now, or you just retired for real? Uh, not right now. <laughs> I'm just, I ain't feeling the new shit going on right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, not right now. Especially, yeah, especially chasing your, your dream, doing what you're yeah, doing Yeah, I got to focus, man. I ain't got time to put into a relationship <laughs> at this moment. So no, it's I, feel like, you. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. So uh, you were at the music? Yes. Uh, I remember I was at work when you had uh, you had sent it out that you, you know what I'm saying, had got signed or whatever. Yeah. How did that shit go about or whatever? And what made that the right choice at the time? Well, at that time, I was going through pain. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, just getting sure. out of some shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I knew ahead of time that I was going to be flying out there. I knew a month in advance and shit. So yeah. I ended up going out there. And I guess the energy that I got from Devin, the energy that I got from Darren there, and just mm -hmm. the energy of being in there in that atmosphere at that time, yeah. signing that demo deal that I did with them, I felt like it was a good move just so I can help push them and they can help push me. Because, okay. you know what I'm saying? We can be a force for yeah, real. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like... That's important in yeah, the yeah. artists and shit. You don't want to have to build them up all the yeah. time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Certain stuff I know I need work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I know I still got that work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just like... Are you say a demo deal? Yeah. Explain, what the, explain to people what, what exactly it is. So a demo deal is a label giving you an opportunity to possibly end up on their label by producing the project and mm -hmm. trying to see where it's gonna go basically you know okay, what i'm saying okay. and i haven't put that project out yet. yeah like a little test you know what drive. i'm saying like a test drive and shit give you like your foot get your foot in the door you know what i'm saying yeah. you get the support you know what i'm saying they're supporting you mm -hmm. and it's just like you need to push you know what i'm saying and i feel like i've been doing this shit for so long it was a good move for me for at sure. the time you know what i'm saying just go ahead and get it done and shit but it the yeah. shit ain't out yet. Yeah, yeah, but they play my shit at like they little pool parties and shit out there sure. in Cali and shit around celebrities. They you know what I'm saying? People be following me, people be interacting with me and shit, shit on the floor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I'm also working in a movie with the Detroit Dreams and shit. Shout out to okay. Al Newt. Oh Shout yeah, 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 Al Newt, yeah, with smoke, all them, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, get me in, man. <laughs> get me in, Al. Hey, come on this bitch, dog podcast. <laughs> hey, I told everybody you definitely need to come on here. I told everybody. Oh yeah, you go ahead, you, you let them know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm cool with that, trust me. He definitely but, should come on. Hey, man, I want to be thug number three, man. You know what I'm saying? Thug at the bus stop, thug in the window, somebody, nigga. Like, <laughs> just give me a thug roll, dog. Thug anything, dog. Like, I'm going to be your guy. I'm going to put on my little thug outfit on, dog. <laughs> and just be chilling like, damn, nigga, thug number three got shot. So, yeah, I don't know, dog. Come on the show. We can talk about that thug number three spot. <laughs> now, I got this little jump that I call, it's called Talk About the Bars. Either, you know what I'm saying, I, I take a piece out of the song and we just talk about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh. The first song I heard you on was that uh, I'll Be Good. Or I'll whatever. Be Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the first um, thing I heard you on. Oh, okay, okay. My yeah, remix. I did. Yeah, remix. Yeah, Foxy. Foxy. Yep. Shout out to Foxy because she showed me love on that too. She reposted it on oh, her straight. stories and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Now, on that one, you you came out saying, why you acting like a bitch? Mm hmm. What make a nigga a, like a bitch made nigga like in your eyes like because you know what I'm saying <laughs> like you said it repeatedly like, why you acting like a bitch so because I just wanted to know I was just so frustrated <laughs> yeah. but I felt like the energy 
Yeah. You know that you give up. If you going through some fucked up shit, don't put everybody else through that shit. You got to carry that shit like a grown ass man. When you For start sure. treating everybody around you like shit and then you start moving shitty, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Everything around you going to be shitty. For you sure, know what yeah. I'm saying? You are your environment yeah, at the yeah. end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That's what make a nigga I feel like act like a they, they bitchy. Always <laughs> mad. Always can not nothing make him happy. Nothing. Just, it's just like, damn, why you acting like a bitch? Yeah, that's it's how you was like, on song. Like, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Hell yeah. It be a lot of niggas like that, man. Yeah. Because like, I always want no, like, you know, of course we say we'll make a, a chick trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We got a couple of examples and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, don't yeah. cook, don't clean, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that. Yeah, you ain't got to cook every night, but goddamn, yeah. we know how to fry a little bacon or something. Yeah, <laughs> still, yeah, yeah. All day. Oh, yeah. All day. Now, uh, on, uh, on my own, you had said uh, you would never know why I've been through, had to sleep in the car when the rent do. Well, talk about that. Like, was that a point in your life, or that just something you write and think about somebody else? Mm, that was a point in my life when I used to have this apartment and shit, and they conditions was over there was horrible. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I, sure. I wasn't living in there no more, but I still was paying the rent. Yeah. And I, me and my daughter had to hop around in rooms, and then some days I'm in my car, but she wasn't with in yeah. my car, and so I made sure she was good. You know for what sure, I'm saying? For but sure, yeah. it just was like I was going through a, a period of time. They tried yeah. to take me to court. Yeah. It was just a whole bunch of unnecessary shit, just because they had roaches and shit. Yeah. How you gonna have roaches in a <laughs> suburban apartment area? <laughs> And then not want to come get this shit, and then it was just bad. I seen a bat in the hallway. I'm God like, damn. these niggas is tripping in this bitch. <laughs> like, it's a bat. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was just going through a hard time. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I just spoke on it. Man, I went through some shit like that, man, with some bed bugs. We got uh, that bitch in a bed bugs on it. You would rather have roaches before you have some bed hell bugs. Hell yeah. I, oh my God. <laughs> ain't no getting rid of them bitches Whoa. on there at all and shit. So, uh, you said yeah, we went through that shit, and I, same shit. We took that bitch to the court and everything. Like, dog, we can't pay rent here, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, I got pictures, and we taking pictures of these yeah. motherfuckers. And them niggas like, well. They ain't give a fuck. Yeah, they ain't give a fuck. But they said either you can get out or you can continue paying rent. I'm like, dog, I ain't paying rent, yeah. bro. But then that shit wound up still being my motherfucking credit. Yeah. Like, man, you hoe-ass Yeah, they niggas. still put it on my too. Yeah. yeah. I, wish I, I wish I could remember that, uh. That apartment complex, so I can shout them, blast their ass. And I want to put them on blast. <laughs> I want to do it, but I ain't got time. Yeah, them niggas can't get no promo for me. Yes. You know, other other people still move over like fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, on, uh, again, on, on my own, you said I gave a nigga my heart and he ain't do nothing with it. Like that, that's that's some personal shit. Like yeah, that was personal. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? I feel like. I helped uplift a nigga at a hard mm-hmm. time, and that's not my responsibility, but I was yeah. there type yeah, you shit. Being just real you know what I'm saying? I was being real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't do shit with it. You yeah. just threw it out um, on my grind shit. Hell like, yeah. it's just like. Yeah, yeah. Now, another one, on you, speaking of rain, you say, uh, uh, Watch you give another bitch everything I'm, that, I, that I'm worth. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we was just talking about that shit on the podcast. Like, when you break up with a chick and she just get everything right. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just become healthy and shit. And yeah. just, you know what I'm saying? Everything, she wasn't with you. Yeah. So, was you saying that shit in that bar? I was saying, watch you give another bitch. Let me see. Hold on. What she say? I'm blown oh, as hell. It's just that like- <laughs> it just say, uh, it's a, uh, watch you, watch, watch, watching you give another bitch everything that I'm worth. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. basically, like, you put your all in somebody in that same situation yeah. with my heart and that's on, on my own. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying, you go give somebody else who not even yeah, holding sure. the bar and not yeah. doing shit. And you yeah. just go give it to them. But the person that you're trying to make work extra hard for that you know worth it, you yeah. ain't giving them shit. Uh-huh. And then you trying to keep that connection going. I had somebody who kept trying to force that connection and wouldn't let me go. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't want to let me go, but you yeah. ain't want to give me what I'm worth. But you giving it to somebody else freely. Hell yeah. There's people out here like that too. So oh, it's yeah, just like sure. shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, that, that, that's it with the, the bar shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, some, it was a, a couple of little bars I heard. I'm like, damn, let me go ahead and talk about that shit because... Everybody go through shit, and like I said, everything that you go through as, as pain or whatever is always gonna be a positive in the long run. Cause you gonna you gonna learn from that shit, you gonna build from it, and it's gonna make you stronger. And, right. and speaking of stronger, like I said, back to your being a mother. Like, is it is it hard like being a good mother, make sure your daughter is good and everything, but still, you know, what I'm saying balancing out your music career and like you said, you you doing this acting. Like, is it hard? Like, do you feel like you might um, take away time from your kid? No, because I try to include her as much as I can. She with me every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My yeah. daughter always with me. You know what I'm saying? But when I got shit like this to do, like, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't bring her. But if I'm at the studio, she with me sometimes at the studio. You mm-hmm. know, some of my gigs I bring her to. But I don't feel like I'm taking no time for her. But I do be feeling like I need to spend more time. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? I make sure when I do have that time with her, I'm yeah. doing everything with everything. her. I'm taking her yeah, around. Yeah. So she know what I'm doing. Like, yeah. she understand. Like, she got yeah. that understanding at a young, young age. And mm-hmm. that's a blessing for me. 
Yeah, so she know when you gone, you take care of business for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, because she still get everything. It's not a struggle to get her, you know, keep her how she need to be. She always been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Hair stay done. New clothes, <laughs> new shoes. My baby, I care about my baby. Yeah, That's for my sure. Baby. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, more yeah. water, getting the cotton again. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you good, you good. Cause I got two sons and a little girl. It's like different now. I got dark. Like, damn, got make sure this this girl stay a queen. Make sure she value herself and shit. Cause I always tell my wife, I'm gonna tell her when she get older. When we, you know, what I'm saying, have that birds and the bees talk. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, listen, treat your stuff as gold, mm -hmm. not pennies. Yeah. Don't let anybody be able to get that shit. Though, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And you gotta keep it real. I think a lot of times you you be people be too afraid to keep it real with they with their daughters. How they do with they with their sons. You know what I'm saying? Let them know what's going on. You what? gotta let them know, man. Yeah, I was once that nigga who was, you know what I'm saying, out here chasing tail. My daddy, ain't give, <laughs> my daddy ain't give a fuck. He'll let you know. We yeah. was young. He ain't care. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> And, and, you know, it was funny, like, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It just make you be like, I, I need to wait. Like. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, baby, please wait when you see this. Please wait. <laughs> wait as long as you can. <laughs> now, uh, you know, Detroit is a, it's a, hard, it's a hard city to, uh, you know, get support. You feel me? So, how have you felt with the music so far? Like, I see you've been doing shows, whatever. Like, you feel like you've been getting the support, you know what I'm saying, from the people in the, in the city as far as your music? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's been, it's been here and there, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I ain't tripping because I ain't focused on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused on something so much bigger. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like people going to jump on. They ain't, they ain't going to jump on. They going to jump on. They going to jump on. Whatever. However it's going to be, yeah, I don't yeah. be thinking about that shit. But I know I, I get a lot of love and shit for sure. Like, yeah. shout out to Quiet Boy. He be at all my shows. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people have been supporting me and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially since coming back from California and just announcing that I even, you know what I'm saying, been working with Ethica and shit like that. So it just was like... You know what I'm saying? I wanted people to see me just turn up. Like, For sure. It's the turn up time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so much shit to drop. It's just crazy. Like, And then it's the, the fucked up thing about it and the funny thing at the same time is like, when you're doing something, you wind up getting more love from people you don't know. Definitely. The they people always that be like that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. even with this podcast shit, I know it's like a lot of people share or or react to it or talk about it who mm -hmm. I didn't grow with or or I haven't been known for years. Yeah, we still got house phone people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm <laughs> Grand like, well, <"Whoa." laughs> granddad we went back to the future. Yeah, yeah, granddad upstairs with the house phone, last person with a uh, with a landline phone. But yeah, a lot of times people gonna support you that you you know what I'm saying, that you just met. And shit, so that support always ain't gonna be there from the people you expect. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and I don't, that's why I don't go into to shit expecting nothing. Yeah. I don't expect shit. Yeah. I just go into shit. Like, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I analyze it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people be down they self because, oh man, my cousin Craig didn't share my shit. Like, bro, fuck cousin Craig. <laughs> they like, right, yeah. <laughs> you still like, gotta do your shit because a lot of niggas, I, I ain't felt victim to that shit crying about. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't showing love, man. At the end of the day, fuck it. Just keep doing you and yeah, keep being you gotta, dope. you got to keep doing you. Yeah. Now, um, speaking of the city, do you ever feel like sometimes like, you need to relocate to get the, 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 the love you deserve or to get your music out more? Like Every artist should want to relocate. You know what I'm saying? That's just the game. Like You should you got to move around. You can't just... Mm -hmm. Unless you want to stay local. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You want to stay local, then dominate local. But... Every artist that aspires to be something bigger, you're supposed to want to just move around. Like, that's just how this shit work. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shit, I'm too scared to leave again. I left that one time and <laughs> came back to this bitch, dog. <laughs> now, you got uh, EP about to come out, Ghetto Ninja. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, when is it coming out? How many tracks and uh, what? how you come up with the name? You said you had the knife and shit when you was locked up. You tried to get that bitch out your pocket. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah. what, like, talk about that shit. Um, the Ghetto Ninja Project is a mix of like melodic and like ghetto type music or whatever, yeah. dance music, whatever mm -hmm. you prefer is ghetto, like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm from the hood and you know what I'm saying? I gotta represent my brand. Like I wear a lot of black, so I be always on Ninja time. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's yeah. like shit, Ghetto Ninja, it makes sense for Jay Judo. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna have like six songs on there. Okay. Um, I was thinking of doing like a mixture of like all hood shit. And then the mm -hmm. melodic shit, yeah. versus type shit. But I was like, nah, I'm probably doing another project, or some shit. So this is gonna be dope and shit. Sure. Like I don't have a release date for it right now, yeah. Because I'm still getting shit together with it. Yeah, like yeah. I want to make sure it's perfect because I want motherfuckers to listen to that shit and be able to play it back all over again. Just yeah. let that shit ride through. Yeah, and yeah. I ain't want my shit too long because the type of songs I got on there is just gonna it's one and riding songs. Get you, a, hey, you a new ass car blunt, yeah, sure. banging some shit on niggas gonna be like, where the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now have you ever like a lot of art? Are you one of those artists? Like uh, sit on your music too long, 
and, and, and whatever like you got a project that's ready to go out right now but you like damn i can add this i can add that i can do this like no are you one of those or you just one of those like let me get it out there and see how they respond to it i'm i, I try to take my time on my shit mm -hmm. though but um Sometimes I feel like I gotta push some push something out, so I do like a freestyle joint, just push it out or whatever, mm -hmm. or something about my life or something, something that I wrote that's not out. I just push it out just to get some, you yeah, know, get yeah. some momentum. But right now, I just been taking my time and yeah. shit, and I feel like people appreciating that, and they gonna appreciate it when the mixtape drop, yeah. the EP drop. I'm sorry, mixtape EP, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's gonna be dope. Like it's yeah. gonna be worth listening to, man. It's gonna be really dope. I'm putting a lot of time into this shit, man. Yeah, for sure, not because because a lot of times with social media, like. Everybody be looking at it like, what are you doing right now? Yeah. You drop project on Friday and Tuesday. Like, nigga, what you doing? Because mm -hmm. I ain't heard shit since Friday. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that, when you put yourself <laughs> in that category, that's what people, you're going to feel that pressure. Now, if you a type of person that want to drop every week and then all of a sudden you ain't dropping, people going to put that pressure on you. Like, damn, they be dropping every week. Why yeah. you drop every week? That's why I like, you know what I'm saying? I drop every two weeks. I was dropping shit, dropping shit, dropping shit. Now, it's a pause. And everybody like, and I'm going to get ready to drop some shit. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I like to catch people off guard. I, don't, I like to be unpredictable. Yeah. I used to fuck with, like, like uh, Batman and shit, <laughs> like how you hit them corners of that cape. Like, <laughs> I like, I, I like, to, I like to catch people. Yeah, you know and then sometimes it could be a, a good thing or a bad thing as far as dropping too much music. Come I mean, mm -hmm. man, this motherfucker drop it. This nigga drop it again. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People, yeah. But some people actually excel with it. You know what I'm saying? Because they got that audience and they know they had that steady audience is gonna sit there and watch everything you know what yeah, i'm saying share sure. everything you know what i'm saying then sometimes you be wanting to hold on to shit too like yeah 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 now uh what's one thing that you uh you hate that you gotta deal with with being an artist like some of you you wish like man you could take this shit out like i don't like doing interviews i don't like this i don't like that i don't like doing shows what's something that you hate that you gotta deal with as far as being an artist mm. or shit or you like or you love everything shit i mean I, I try not to engage into everything like that but i don't really like Going to small ass venues and shit. It be yeah. hot. I'm that shit. I'm thick as fuck. I mean, yeah. that bitch hot as hell. I don't like sweating and shit. And now you, I don't really like dancing a lot. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm not sure. gonna be in there, bitch, just shaking my ass for a long ass time. Like, yeah. I probably do a little wiggle. A little two step or Yeah, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't be wanting to sweat and I don't like small ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It be just too hot. Like, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I hate motherfucker being hot. It'd be like, God damn. Yeah, I don't like that. It's like, you know you about to have a big event. Get some air conditioning here. And then you charging everybody $50, $100 yeah. again. This bitch. Nigga, I'm supposed to feel AC in this bitch when I walk in here. Like, come on now. Yeah. So, That's yeah. funny. She, well, as she said that her phone said the it was the temperature check. Oh, shit. It said cool. <laughs> I swear to God, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, hey. <laughs> that motherfucker in there, temperature check, say, need to cool down, nigga. Oh, yeah. That shit crazy. <laughs> See? Damn. We ain't, we ain't fucked your shit up with the license. This bitch too hot. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you were saying, damn, what the fuck were you just saying before that? Oh, yeah, okay. Now, you being a female, a lot of times dealing with, you know, saying dudes as far as in the industry, if it's an engineer or whatever, or anybody who want to work with you, do you feel like a lot of times niggas use that as a way of getting on? Some niggas be trying trying to test it. That's why I, oh, I shit, do a I see lot of Jay texting. Put on the, on I the do ground. a lot of texting like, before I even go. I yeah. do a lot of questions and shit. They, they hate questions. Yeah, for sure. I do the questions and shit to see if they gonna stay patient with me. And they stay patient. And I'm like, okay, I fuck with them. But I try not to really fuck with too many people and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it's like you know the people that I do fuck with, they respect me. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like that, they might sure. flirt a little bit, like, hey, you look nice today, some shit like that. But they ain't yeah. bite on. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, like they respect me. You ask too many mm -hmm. questions, they gonna leave your shit on red. Like, man, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't give it me a love a of, Yeah it'd be a lot of people I just feel like Like if you come at me first On some You trying to kick it with me Type shit yeah. And then you try to do business with me Yeah, yeah That yeah. shit cut <laughs> dead Like Now shit Staying on that Like Like being in a relationship I know you said you cool on that right now But when it do happen Like you think it's hard to be In a relationship with a nigga Who's not in the industry And then like you gotta do shows You gotta do this And nigga might be a jealous type Like you think it'd be hard To fuck with a nigga And still be a successful You know what I'm saying Artist um, no, I, it's just gotta be the right motherfucker. He gotta just know who he fucking with. Yeah. I don't want no nigga coming around me treating me like I'm normal because yeah, yeah. I'm not normal. Yeah, I'm different. The nigga, test you every day, like, dog. It's two o'clock, nigga. Where the fuck you at? Yeah, I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta know the type of lifestyle I live in. And then, like, I would definitely know to tell that person if I got shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Ahead of time, sure. I ain't gonna just be gone and shit. I yeah. got common decency to tell you, like, I gotta show this day, this day. Yeah. Ain't my fault if you don't remember, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gotta be somebody, <laughs> it's gotta be somebody that understand, man. Yeah, they gotta sure. listen to you, they gotta understand and know what's up, like, yeah. whether they're in the industry or not, but I would prefer somebody in the industry, but I, I wouldn't want them to be like, in the spotlight, like, yeah, yeah. for sure. Because I, I, I found myself in a relationship before where it felt like, 
we both was in the spotlight, even though I know I had my own light and he had his own light. Yeah. It's like he was trying to like kick me out of mine because yeah, he like sure. I ain't feeling how you yeah you know what I'm saying it just might like, be getting a little bit more exposed than he is. it was it was I was more so on some we could be power a couple you know what yeah. I'm saying shit like that whatever but people don't be ready for that shit so I'm like fuck it I ain't tripping I don't want nothing I don't want no relationship and yeah. I gotta focus yeah, yeah, I, yeah my head is focused on that shit like now, uh, outside of music you you just you tapped in for a little bit saying you know saying you gonna do a little acting or whatever is there anything else. That you want to do outside of music besides acting and with acting, how deep do you want to get into it? Do you want that to be like yo, is the, the, uh, some shit you do equally to music or just some shit that you just do on the you know every once in a while? I think it's gonna end up end up, end up to be like equally. Okay. Cause I am I am actually working um in another film and I'm I do got like a main role in this film and okay. I'm, I'm be doing some shit like yeah. Uh, shout out to. I don't even want to say it because I don't want nobody oh, praying yeah. on my downfall. Yeah. Damn. I had yeah. to think about it. Like, yeah. I don't say it. Yeah. Stop yourself real quick. Yeah. It'll be it. <laughs> now, you know, my, you said you heard me give you my dream role is to be third number three. What's your, what would be your dream role as far as, like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I want to do this already. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a cop? Like, what's some shit that you want to be? Your dream role. Mm. Or you haven't even thought into it that big. You said my dream role? Yeah, you know, I want to be third number three. What's oh, like in a movie? Yeah. I mean, shit, I'll be a narc. Okay. Yeah. I can see myself in the all black with the big ass boots and all that shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> take the weed, hit that bitch, stump it out. Take your stupid ass song. Duh. I can see myself doing some shit like that yeah. in the movie. You Man. know what I'm saying? Like, that's funny as hell, dog. They can say, about to be in this bitch taking all the weed. Like, what? I had some weed. Like, Jay got I'm that gonna bitch. I'm gonna you if it's Reggie's in the movie. If it's Reggie's, I'm gonna arrest you. Goddamn. Funny as hell. Now, uh, we always do this shit. I don't know if you if you remember, but back in the day, it was making the band. Remember making the band? Yeah. When Diddy had the little bandmates and shit, it was like what five rappers and a, a female singer. Yeah, I it was a, that. it was a whole bunch of shit. But if you had to do your own making the band, you plus four, one album, who would be four people you want to work with? This in the industry. It could be an industry. It could be Craig down the street. It could be Detroit artists like whoever. Just four people. Did making the band like yeah. to do what you mean like to come together as a group? Yep, yep, yep. But it got to be. Yeah, known rappers. It could be local rappers or just known niggas or singers or whatever. Who you think would make a successful band with you? Me, La Britney, um, Crystal the Doll. All right. And I would probably say. Two more. We got two more. Uh, what's the one thick white bitch name that be singing? <laughs> oh shit! To my uh, Snow. No, she she shit. she an industry person. I'm high as hell. Damn, she rapper? No, she be singing and rapping to a little. Oh, Adele? No. Shit. Doja Cat. Doja, I, I never seen her face. Doja Cat. I heard Cat. that name and shit. And then, yeah. And who who be who the last person? Uh, it's a female group, huh? Yeah, <laughs> 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 no, no love to the dudes and shit. Future. It's all good. Future. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up? I'm supposed to be loving Future, dog. Like, man, Future. I want to do a song with him. I'm done. I'm gonna do a song with Future. Yeah. Hell yeah, I never tapped in the future like that. I don't know. Now, nah, you cool though. <laughs> now, uh, as far as like, what you got some goals, like some short term goals. What you want to do in the, you know, what I'm saying in the in the year, and what's what you want to do as far as like long term, like ten years down the line. So you know, short term goals, long term goals, as far as your music or shit, just you in general, as far as being an artist. Shit, I want to open up a whole shopping mall. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? With For all sure. black owned businesses. You yeah, know that'd be saying? double hell. Hell yeah. And I also was thinking about, you know, yeah, what that'd I'm be saying? double hell. Yeah, a security group. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So I, when people come here, they can hire us and shit. You know what I'm saying? For security, they, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's deep. I ain't gonna explain it yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't it's get like, too much away. You know away. what I'm saying? I don't want to get too much away. <laughs> but it's some shit that I, I, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Get done. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's dope as hell. Now, as far as like music shit, I should have asked this shit earlier, but like, who's some people besides like Fosse Brown that inspired you? Like your style, who you look at? Like you know, what I'm saying not to necessarily steal, but take a little piece from here and there. Like, I don't intentionally. Remember, I said I don't go into stuff intentionally mm -hmm. at all. Like, I feel like certain people that cling to me definitely future. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when he was going through the breakup after Sierra and shit. When he yeah. made that album, he was crying <laughs> yeah. about her and shit. I'm yeah. sorry, Future. I love you, but yeah. he was on that beach doing his crying. But yeah. he was on it. Got was to sweet. Sometimes. Got it to. was sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely cleaned on to me and shit, whatever, in a musical way. Nicki Minaj, with yeah. my, you know what I'm saying? Because she was always like, boom. Like, yeah. she had a strong personality. Sure. And I've always sure. been like that. Like, yeah. so it just was like, I liked that about yeah. her. So, you know what I'm saying? That shit kind of like personality wise confidence yeah. wise and shit boosted oh, yeah. boom like certain shit 
it just like it just depends. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I can't really say like who. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. just like those is my musical influences. At one time, I listened to a lot. I, mm-hmm. I was just listening to them. <laughs> now, uh, at the end of the day, like when your when your career is all said and done, or whatever, or like towards the end, like what would be your definition of a successful career? Like as far as music wise, like what's your definition? Like damn, this was a a good run and shit. Shit, just collabing with a whole bunch of major artists is just hot as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just doing a lot of different city tours, mm. local tours, state tours, sure. yeah. out the country tours. Just being able to do all of that shit yeah. to the point where I'll be like, okay, I'm ready to retire type shit. I feel like that was my run. Then yeah. get into some other shit behind yeah. the scenes. Like, I got For other sure. shit I want to do behind the scenes and shit too that I, don't know, I can do. Yeah, one shit you said was dope as hell, that black, little black mall shit. That shit dope. Yeah. yeah, that's a dope as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody can work together, have their own little. Mm-hmm. Damn, that'd be dope as hell. That's, that's some good he shit. He said, that's a dream. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's some good shit. That's good shit. Hey, I'm going to tell you why I fuck with you because when you try to get on the show, I think, damn, who was on the show that you had hit me up about getting on the show afterwards? Forgot that nigga name. J5. Uh huh. Yeah, I fuck with you because you, had, you, you asked about getting on the show. We went back and forth. But then afterwards, like, you wasn't, like, on it. Like, it'd be a lot of motherfuckers that be on it every week. Like, nigga, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, like, yeah. bro, like, because, like, what I like to do is, like, just just, just glimpse over your your socials and see what you're doing. You put music out. Like, mm-hmm. how, how are you? Because, like, you got a lot of motherfuckers who say they do music but don't do shit as far as music on their right. page. Like, I don't see shit. So, it kind of, like, I back off. Like, man, I don't want to wanna bring them on. Or niggas just got some trash ass music you just mm-hmm. don't want to fuck with. Yeah, so, you don't want to air yeah. that on there because then when people go tune in, they're like, man, this show weak as fuck. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> For real. Yeah, we yeah, weak as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like. So I try to really like observe and like really check. I see you do it. You've been doing a lot of shows, been putting music out, been consistent. If you ain't consistent, then what you like, like, I don't want to, I'm, you not mm-hmm. really for real about what you're doing, your crap. Yeah. So I had like that you wasn't like on my head, like, give me on, give me on. Because <laughs> I, I be having like a list of niggas who just. They get me on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real, like, damn. But then you got the people you ain't asked and we, we ain't talked and shit. And I'm like, oh, shit. I remember uh, Jay, we was talking like, damn, she doing some shit. Me reach out and shit. So yeah. that's why I, I respect about what you had did. Like, you had to come on the show and she you kept it at that. And then when I said, let's get on, you're like, oh, Shade? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and my mom like, damn, she missed my whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, towards the end of the interview, we always do a thing called top three i give you a category you give me your top three so give me your top three uh moments in life my top three moments yeah hmm that was a little deep but damn <laughs> i guess i should end it with that shit, shit. <laughs> okay about the gate with it like ha! top three moments in my life when I got locked up for that long ass period of time <laughs> growing up, and I had to hit my head all them fucking times and oh, shit, yeah, that, that was the top. Yeah, I can that because I got you right. That got me. That got me together. For Another sure. top was uh, you know what I'm saying, working in the bank and shit, yeah. whatever around all that money, oh, and just all shit. that knowledge and shit, learning yeah. how this shit move and shit like that. That was the up for me. Yeah. And then you know what I'm saying, get my car and my crib and shit, and get yeah. the fuck. It's stable and shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And, yeah, yeah. and linking up with Ethica and shit, flying out to Cali for the first time, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, if y'all ever want to sponsor the show too, uh, Ethica, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, get, get with me, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we both had underwear yeah, yeah. all right there, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't like, make yeah, well, I said, she gonna put that <laughs> Ethica right here and shit. Like, hey, I need some drugs, cuz. <laughs> gonna put the emblem light and shit down here. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> real, for real. So, give me your, uh, give me your top three childhood crushes. Damn. Childhood crushes. As far as like, you know, celebrity crush, you know, you had Marion poster on the wall, some shit like that. I used to like J Bug. I used to like J Bug. <laughs> yeah, I, used to him. I used to have him on the wall for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, T.I. Okay. was on the wall. Yeah. And it was, uh, who else was on my wall? Um, see, Lil Romeo. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was just guessing. It was Lil Romeo. Was. <laughs> I was like, Bow Wow, Lil Romeo. Bow Wow, Lil Romeo. Sorry, Bow Wow. Goddamn. But Lil Romeo was on the wall for sure. Hell yeah. Give me your top three cereal. That's some different shit. I just was thinking about that shit. Cereal? Yeah. I don't really like cereal like Damn. that, but when I, used to, uh, when I used to fuck with it, I used to like cinnamon and toast. Yeah. I used to like the Fruit Loops. I used to like the. Uh, Little Rice Krispies. Oh yeah, Rice Krispies. Hell yeah, we used to get that bitch on the wig and shit. It's loud too. You can't sneak in. You can't sneak and make some rest of that night when you were a kid. It'd be loud. Like what you doing? Like remember that smack, crackle, pop, whatever that shit was. All right, give me your top three. Uh, top three movies. 
all about the Benjamins. That shit was funny as hell. Yeah. Mike Epps funny as fuck forever. Hell yeah, I love Mike Epps. Uh. Nigga, Ice Cube had some fucked up braids though. Them bitches, them bitches <laughs> weave. You know it's weaving that motherfucking shit, cuz. You a thug, nigga. I like Miss Congeniality. Okay. Y'all yeah. probably like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Is this an old ass little white, oh, yeah. Yeah, white movie? Yeah, I gotta get help. I gotta get help. <laughs> that was fun. Right. And, um, damn. Uh, another movie. Yeah, last oh, one. Transformers. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. My wife into that shit. I don't really be knowing that shit. I like Marvel. I like a lot of Marvel and oh, anime shit, and shit, yeah. too. Yeah, like, and my son my wife be into that shit heavy. Yeah. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> 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 All right, give me, your, uh, give me your top three foods. Sushi. I like sushi. I ain't gonna lie. I be eating that shit a lot. Yeah. I like stuffed salmon, and I like um, steamed broccoli. Okay. Yeah, some good broccoli. Mm-hmm. Put some little broccoli. cheese on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I right. can get that shit by too. Yeah, last, last one. Give me your top three. Your top three rappers that you fuck with, like, on the heavy. Yo, them three. I'm talking about like this. I would, like... Shit, it could be it, uh, all time. Mm-hmm. Big Sean, Vezo, Nicki Minaj. Big Sean, Vezo. Hey, we just got been talking about Vezo. I thought Vezo was every bit of 40. What? I just about to, I, I uh-huh. learned something new about him. Like he's thirty one. Like damn. Uh-huh. Cause, he, yeah, about to say he around my age. Yeah, apologize, bro. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Now we always ended off like this. You say you smoking shit. Yeah. A hot moment or a drunk moment. It's a story that you was just on your ass off of one of those things or both. <sighs> Man, when I first started smoking, I lied and told a nigga I smoked before. I was like 17. I yeah. rode my bike over his house. Snuck out, <laughs> snuck out. Yeah. Snuck out the house. Mama, daddy, I'm sorry. Yeah. Rode my bike over his house and was in the basement with him. He didn't try to do nothing to me and nothing like that. He had the weed roll because he was sneaking me in because his mama was asleep. Yeah. So he thinking I smoked before. I had told him I did. I'm like, yeah, I smoked before. Fuck, yeah. that ain't shit. He's yeah. like, all right, I got some loud. Do-do-do. So we in the basement. He lighted it and st- uh, hit this shit. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking in my head, like, I ain't even hot yet. This some bullshit. I snuck out the house with this shit. Then as soon as I thought that shit, all of a sudden, I was high. <laughs> I was like, I'm high as fuck. I'm floating. Then look, I'm, I started crying. I asked a nigga, am I dead? All type Damn, of shit. Man. I'm running upstairs in his kitchen. He like, be quiet. Yeah, he like, my shut up, cuz. <laughs> I'm trying to splash water on my face and shit, on my naked shit. I'm like, oh my God. Then I started crying, freaking out and shit. That shit was my first time smoking. I was, I'm never smoking again. Yeah. Then I smoked again. Man. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Every time that you just explain is, hey, that first time is my every time. Really? That's why I can't do it. Like, man, I can't fuck with this smoking shit, man. This shit too dangerous, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about too much shit. Like, it's a point that I'm thinking about shit that my girl could have done wrong. Like, why the fuck am I even thinking that shit? Like, <laughs> yo, I just got in, nigga, I was in so so much of a, di- a deep thought. Like, I'm just thinking about everything, nigga. She didn't come home at this time. This, like, you know, this weed shit ain't for me, bro. Like, I, I, I praise y'all who can smoke weed on the daily and still function. I wish I could do it, but I, I, it ain't for me, though. I can't do it, man. I'll be a bad person. I should get high one time and try to do a podcast episode. No. <laughs> he gonna be in this bitch on the couch. <laughs> standing and this bitch moaning the camera and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, funny as hell, man. Funny as hell. But shit, I appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate you coming to this bitch, man. Um, let the people know where they can find your music, where they can find your socials, all that good stuff. Yeah, so my name Jay Judo. I don't want to hear you can't find me. I'm the only one with the swords in the bio. It's the only Jay Judo in the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm on uh, Spotify, iTunes, and shit, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, sure. shit like sure. that. It's only Jay Judo. Nothing with it. No underscores and yeah. dots and stars and shit. It's just yeah. that. <laughs> it's just Jay Judo. And man. say a uh, project coming to a, a phone near you. Yes, coming to no. a phone near you. Yeah, no, no, no specific date. Still working on that. Yeah, still working on that. But I am about to get ready to drop another single and shit. Yeah. Um, like I said, I got the movie shit going on and shit. I'm for keeping sure. myself busy for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Who? Oh yeah, but what, who? You, you were saying like, keep it Detroit. Who's some people from the city that you want to work with that you ain't worked with yet? That I ain't work with Vezo. I want to work with Vezo. Yeah. The fuck? Like I want to work with Vezo. That nigga cold as hell. Hell yeah. And um, All Star Jr. Okay. I want to work with him. And the coochie man. Okay. I think we can do some silly shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But it's yeah. gonna be dope though. It's gonna yeah, be dope because he can really sure. rap for real too. Yeah, hey, I wanna work with y'all yeah. niggas too, man. Come on through, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Come on through, man. I ain't doing no music. We just talking shit, man. So uh, you wanna leave people with some final words, like you know what I'm saying? Don't don't drink and drive. Like what's some shit that you wanna leave people with uh, on some positive uh, shit? Uh, yeah, like learn how to drive, man. Cause <laughs> I was just saying that shit on the way here. Like motherfuckers can't drive. 
<laughs> Can y'all please just learn? Like, yeah. just, and when I say learn, drive for other people, not yeah. just you. Motherfuckers be in the zone, like, yeah. don't be paying attention and shit. <laughs> and then it's like, you gotta, you don't see this nigga on the side of you wilding, like, he about to hit your shit. You don't man, see this bitch. For sure. Like, you gotta be driving for other people too, like, please, yeah. man. Then if you're gonna get high and all that shit, just be paying attention, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Pay you ever, fuck attention. You ever got your car sent? No. Oh shit! You want to talk about it? No. Oh. I, got, I, I got one before, oh, yeah. but I wasn't driving though. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? What you fucked up? Like you hurt? I was hurt a little bit, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. My my homegirl passed away and shit. Oh shit! Yeah. Rest in peace. Sorry about that. I ain't trying to make a joke out of that. Yeah. yeah. R.P. For Lee. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was a Damn. long time ago. She passed after the accident because she ended up getting to another one after me. Like after oh she, shit! It, it was just like you know what yeah, I'm saying. Fucked up. Hell yeah. You just gotta be careful, man. That's yeah. all. Like the crazy. I got to cry on some stupid, the dumbest shit ever. We gonna end it, but. I was a. Uh, I just did. I do music and shit. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying I did one dab in the music and shit. But I was doing this song. And I felt like the song was hard. Like nigga, this shit hard, bro. <laughs> hard as hell. This is the song, nigga. I'm about to go on radio with this bitch. So uh, I dropped my son off at school. Drop my other son off at daycare. I'm coming back. I'm driving down. I'm over there by uh by the uh, studio over there in uh, Southfield and shit. I'm going down. I'm about to go home. And I swear to God, I thought the light was red. I mean, uh, yeah, I thought it was green. My bad. I just told myself, I guess, huh? Thought that bitch was green. Every bit of red. I'm coming. Ah, boom! The bitch just hit me like, oh, fuck, blood. I got out the car. I'm like, she hit me. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody around me like, nigga, you ran a red light. I'm like, yeah. what? I'm mean, that bitch. I swear, been down. I didn't run that bitch, man. All because of a fucking good song I kept playing. Mm. Fucking ran a red light and got my shit hit. And the first thing that came up across my mind, before, well, I hope this motherfucker ain't dead because my license ain't right. Cause if she was dead, I'm about to go to jail for no reason. But, <laughs> but my whole thought was, damn, my girl gonna never let me see her car. I'm in the, I'm in the crib all year, dog. So that was a fucked up moment, man. I fucked, but yeah, when I seen that lady move, like, oh, she ain't dead. Cause nigga, I would been in jail five years, whatever. But it was it was sec- what's that second degree murder or some shit or murder without intent, nigga? I don't know, nigga. Yeah, well, all that shit, you know what it is. But I don't know how we got <laughs> this shit, though. <laughs> but yeah, it was good to have you on this motherfucker, man. Uh, shit, whenever you drop the new project, shit, welcome to come back. Oh, yeah, definitely. Come, come definitely. talk some shit, whatever, and shit, man. We get back popping. And uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's all. Hey, yeah, don't make good songs and drive, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Good job.